Oh, snap. We're actually back with another Moral Sign video. As today, before anything, I'm going to TLDR you. Where have I been? It's been two weeks. We haven't uploaded a video. My wife has been in Brazil. Uh, she has been helping with the uh, upcoming wedding ceremony, all the planifications and all that stuff. I've been giving my moral support from here, you know, very important. As uh, we're officially married, but we haven't had the actual wedding happen, right? Like the wedding is going to happen, uh, or like the big ceremony rather. It's going to happen in Brazil, and it's going to be at the end of August. So uh, she wanted to start, you know, preparing for that, uh, you know, with her family and stuff. And uh, the thing is, my wife also happens to be my editor. So I needed to hire an editor for a couple of weeks to keep the YouTube videos rolling. Unfortunately, financially speaking, 2023 was perhaps my worst year to date ever since I've been like self-employed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we were not in a great spot in that regard. You know, I'm not trying to throw a pity party here. Everybody struggles, right? Um, but I'm trying to, you know, explain uh, that um, it wasn't actually profitable for me to hire an editor. Uh, for a couple of weeks to get the videos rolling considering the viewerships that we're getting as of right now you know because this channel has been through a lot and uh, the death of Legend of Runeterra hit us hard as we're trying to uh, you know get back to relevance with uh, Marvel Snap. The streams have been going smoothly though even though um, uh, people probably expected me to stream more than I did I focused a lot on my project like 50% of my of my time these two weeks has, has been like writing um, for those of you who know that I'm, I'm working on a story uh, and I've been putting a lot of energy into that. But again, to keep this like short and sweet, basically we are gonna be having daily uploads back. I know some of you won't believe me, rightfully so, but it's gonna happen. Like the apocalypse could rain upon us and uh, we're still going to be having daily uploads because you know, I, I actually, <laughs> I actually need some money, so I need to work like like every other person. So uh, we're we're I'm gonna make sure that uh, the content is consistent, and I hope you guys are excited for a daily dose of Marvel Snap decks. Today we're gonna showcase a essentially it's intended to be a counter to the meta deck, but I don't think Thanos uh, decks as of right now have a legitimate counter. Um, I think we have a good matchup into Thanos. But make no mistake, Thanos is at a power level right now that it can legit just beat us uh, or outmuscle us downright. Um, and, and you gotta be wary of that, right? Uh, Thanos Mockingbird has taken the meta by storm. It is, a, I think it's a tier, tier zero deck. I think um, there's no other deck that comes close to his power level right now. And it's something that you gotta take into account, right? So we're gonna try to design decks that can match up well into it. And this is one of them. Ketchup is a clock deck. It's called Ketchup because we play a catch-up game with the opponent. We catch up to their points. Hence, Ketchup. <laughs> Hilarious. So what we have here is a, is a clock deck. I've showcased uh, many variations of these decks in the past. This one has uh, quite a few things going on for it. First of all, we're running zero Maximus because we're trying to have uh, a bit of extra power with our lower curve, right? Because one of the things about Clog is that we do sacrifice points in exchange for these disruptive effects, like Debris, for example. Three power for three energy, way below average. Not, not great, um, but, you know, she's doing quite a bit, clogging the opponent with the rocks. Green Goblin, also three power, technically, for three energy, but it's taking away an opponent's space, which is very relevant, right? We're paying for these effects with numerical stats. And we're trying to make up for the fact that our mid-game plays are not as strong as the average is with our earlier curve. Mojo is a prime, like an amazing card for this deck and, and really essentially what keeps us going, right? Like two energy, eight power. Like that is a premium number you can aim for and Mojo can be easily enabled in a deck like this. Uh, Ant-Man got buffed recently, now has plus four power with a full location, so it's five power for one energy, which is amazing. Titania, Titania is just bonkers. Titania is just like the perfect one drop for this kind of deck because we can use her to clog an opponent's board or we can use her at the very end of the game to help us win a location that's already been filled up right by pairing her with like a five drop like spider woman we're playing magic magic is probably one of the cards that i get most questions about regarding clog and the reason why we play magic is because we want to extend the game because a lot of times as we're focusing on on clogging the opponent and, and limiting their board space we're sacrificing points our opponents are ahead of us on points and we need to again catch up 
to them. So magic gives us one extra turn to do so, and that is really, really important, more so than you would think. As uh, when it comes to cloggers, uh, we have debris, we have green goblin, uh, we have the likes of Titania, which can be played with Green Goblin on turn four, for example. And we got Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus is a really strong card that can also completely betray you in certain scenarios. Like, it's it, he can be inconsistent at times, but if used properly on a location that's not completely wide open and used as a, as a way to, like, kind of, like, seal the lid on that location, uh, Dr. Octopus can really thrive uh, in that sense. Can disrupt a lot of combo-oriented decks, and it's one of my personal favorite cards in the game, so I play Yellow Octopus. I don't have to justify it. Fantastic card here. Shang-Chi is also one of those cards that helps us catch up. So basically, Shang-Chi, Spider-Woman are our main sources of power, right? Dr. Octopus is our more, most powerful source of clog, and the rest of the deck is, is aimed to, like, really try to be able to, uh, again, retake the locations after we've done, uh, you know, disrupting them. That is essentially uh, the point of this deck. You know, it's quite straightforward. Limit limit their their ability to play cards here and there, and uh, and then just catch up on those locations and win. And that is what Clog is all about. And naturally, it matches up well against Thanos because of the Infinity Stones. Thanos plays a lot of Infinity Stones that take up a lot of space, so we can uh, take advantage of that and uh, you know really. Uh, shut them down in that regard. You're gonna see uh, quite a few games today that that we are in which we're able to do that. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Marvel Snap content. Hope you enjoy today's games. It wasn't too rambly of an intro. I'm gonna keep them more straight to the point here. I think. I think I'm doing better in that regard. You know, pat on the back. Good job, Miguel. Love you. Have a whole day. Enjoy the matches. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Kind of weird because we, we just don't know what, what this is going to turn into. Like, we have Westview, we have Mirror Dimension. I'm going to develop Mojo on the right. They've already played a unit there. We have to be careful with magic. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. We're in Green Goblin here. Kek Insane. They play Mobius. Thing is, like now, if they play, if they play Reality Stone, they have to win here. So I'm not expecting a Reality Stone here because they lose the middle and they're behind on the right. Oh, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, because Ant-Man goes up in the mojo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, so no, okay, not, yeah. Yeah, so they, they, they thought I was going to fill that turn. 
And they're like, if and if they don't feel that turn, I beat them. Get get Maximist, bro. Get Maximist. Um, let's. We generally don't want to play our one drops with this deck. Uh, turn one. Because I'm looking at Shang Chi, the throne room potentially. I'm gonna go Mojo on the right. Hmm. Hello? Oh. I needed that zero. I needed that zero. Because now if I Shang-Chi here, the Titania actually leaves me. I also shouldn't have played Titan. Like, no, I, I should have. Like, I, I wanted to lock them out. I just didn't think they were going to play two cards there. That's what I thought. I thought maybe, like, they would play one. Um, we would be really solid on the right. Unless we do this. But then they still beat us, right? They have 12... 12, 9, 18, 18. What if they don't play anything on Limbo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's not zero Titania yet because I have Titania Green Goblin as well. There's Squirrel Girl. That can mean several things. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid them from um, filling that up immediately. If not, then have, them having extra energy is not the worst case in the world. Okay, good. Now... Now we ball. Bitch. Nice cloak. Oh no, oh no sir, you have no space. How did this happen? How did this happen? Oh my god. That sucks, man. Ah, oh, all right. What are you gonna do?
That'll do. I don't see it too often. Like, I, I do run into it, but it's not like it's super prevalent. That's why this deck is always going to be a bit of a meta call, right? Like, if, if it's a destroy heavy meta, then this deck is going to struggle with that. But, you know. It's a small price to pay. I'm going to develop Mojo into Lemuria. Because I know that he can thrive there. We don't know about the, the last location. Like, I don't like developing Mojo into Lamentus. Lamentus. Um, what do we got here? We got Shang-Chi. We got YOLO Octopus. We got some Clog. We got the ability to extend the game. Oh, snap. -da. Here we go. I see. They have initiative over us. <laughs> so no Black Panther, no Iron Heart. Hmm. This octopus is going to be really important. I am Iron Man. Omega Lola. Omega Lola. Omega low. Oh. Easy, but we're not gonna reveal that to the end, ladies and gentlemen. Are you kidding me? Because we still, we still gotta win some other location, and the way we do so. I know I, I I wanted to use Titania there. I mean they have one card left. Oh I kinda I kinda fucking derped. Guys, I think I derped here. I think I derped here. I they have one card left and for some reason I, I played to clog them. Oh no, I played to clog them with one card. I I derped, I derped, I derped, I had a brain fart. Um shit. We're dead. Eight cubes down. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Oh my god, it's a Christmas miracle. Oh my god, I played that perfectly, flawlessly. Holy shit, I'm the best player in the world. And we did so that. Chat failed, as they usually do. It's okay, well, one has to learn to be patient with them. We could play Ant-Man into Lake Hellas, but we have to be patient. New York makes us have to be less patient. Let's go ahead and develop Mojo here. Yeah. Discard. I love when I face Discard, guys, because Discard just loves to focus on their own shit. No, 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 no! Titania!
Hit a rock, right? <laughs> nice gambit, bro. Discarding Modok. You discard Modok as you play Gambit. I'm gonna snap it on your ass. Run. Now. Seriously, run, bro. Why are you not running? Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Never doubted. Watching Mog play feels like just watching IRL Yugi playing. That's why he's the GOAT. I love this message. You know what, Ant Man? Let's send you there immediately. That's your home. Yo, I want to play Meek. This location is a problem for us. I, I've yet to run into somebody who understands this concept. Because I've won games that I shouldn't because this location was a thing. If you play Debris, this location's effect still applies throughout the entire match. Which means that this location can allow you to remove Clog. But people don't really, they, they just don't go that far. They're a discard deck. I really like Kamar Talk potentially for Debris, but that's literally it. Let's get rid of this nonsense. Let's get rid of this nonsense and let's, uh, let's snap with that, shall we? Yeah. Like, Kamar Talk just benefits them way too much. There's a lot of crazy shit they can do. They can Modok twice, create a million swarms. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm pretty confident in being able to overtake the Quantum Realm. Uh, the combination of Ant-Man and Mojo. Yeah, yeah, do, do it again, do it again. Do it again, Magic! Again! Uh, oh, Mobius is a problem. Hmm. Kamar, Kamar Tach, exactly. Um, zero Maximus. This is the turn to zero Maximus. Though we could use Maximus to counter their Dracula leader. Mm. So maybe it's actually zero Titania. So we Mojo here. We zero here with Titania here. I'm gonna develop Spider Woman. I'm playing on curve here. Relying on potentially a Shang-Chi uh, Maximus endgame. There's a swarm. So they discarded Swarm and Dracula and Colleen Wing. And if we look at it here, the same. Okay. So they don't have Apocalypse. This is 100% the turn to, yeah, Shang-Chi over here is gonna be bonkers. Potential top decks include that and that. Um, I think um, Dr. Octopus in the middle is always the play. Booyah, easy. And now, Uh-uh. 